Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and my gaming news series. This is where I like to cover everything going on in the world of gaming and keep you as up to date as possible. So let's get on with today's video. It's been two years since I first covered Truck World Australia here on the channel. Quite a bit has changed since then. Even my gaming room has changed. Even I've changed a little bit. It's been such a long time. I thought this game was actually dead in the water. Well, it seems that it's not the case and we finally got some gameplay. The gameplay starts off with some very pleasing shots of the truck and the environment. It all looks very detailed in the yard and as the truck pulls up, everything looks absolutely spot on and we've got Truck World Australia. As we take a slow drive into the yard, you can see as we go over the bumps, the little bobblehead mascot is moving correctly and you can interact with everything on the dashboard such as the radio, the wipers, the indicators, etc. As we lean out of our truck to reverse onto our trailer, you can see that the lighting and graphically it's so pleasing. The lighting looks really good. The tarmac looks really realistic as does all the little extras around the yard. Uh, as we pull up onto our truck here, I love this shot as we pull onto our trailer. Then the unique part of the gameplay comes. We can interact with our brake, etc. Open the door and out the truck we go. Once out of the truck, we can interact with these straps. Now, I'm not sure if this is just a gameplay interaction or if you don't strap them down properly, they may fall off your trailer. That information isn't available. You can also interact with the supports as well. Now, American Truck and Euro Truck users have been asking for this type of interaction with their truck and trailer for absolutely ages. So it's great to see it in action in Truck World Australia. Here we're going to take a slow drive out of the yard with these long road trains. You're going to have difficulty getting in and out of tight spaces. I think that's what they're trying to show here. Also, you can see the interaction as the truck goes over the speed bump. Everything seems to be really good. This is really promising. I know we've had to wait an extremely long time for even this short amount of gameplay. But what's on show here looks unique. It looks really detailed. And I'm very, very excited to see more from Truck World Australia. Now, when I first spoke to the developer a couple of years ago, when I first started covering this title, they did say because it's made in the Unreal Engine, their ambition is to scale it to as many different devices as possible. Xbox was mentioned, PlayStation was mentioned, of course PC, also VR was mentioned as well. If it does come to console, looking at how nice it looks graphically, I think in my opinion it would be great if this went straight in as a next-gen title, but only time will tell on that. Now, of course, we're not going to get too carried away with this. After two years, all we've got is about two minutes of gameplay. But at least it shows that there is something behind Truck World Australia. And what is behind it looks really, really good, very interesting and promising. But of course, we've just got to wait and see. As always, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. Did you like the gameplay? Did you think it looked good? Would you like it on console? Do you think it should go next gen and not to the base Xbox and PlayStation 4? Do you think we need another trucking game on PC? Do you think this stands out enough? I would love to know in the comments section below. That is it everyone. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.